Hi everyone, thanks again for watching Sibelius Tutorials. This is Josh again, and in this video we are going to be covering DS and DC Alfine markings. We will describe what they are exactly, and then how to enter them into Sibelius to play back correctly. In the term DS Alfine, the DS stands for del segno, which means from the sign. Alfine means to the end. So when Sibelius' playback reaches the DS Alfine, it will make Sibelius go back and play from the segno marking. When Sibelius plays back again, when it hits the Fine marking, the Sibelius score will stop playing back, telling the reader that this is where the score stops. Let's demonstrate this. Here we have a score where I'd like to use the DS Alfine and alternate the ending of the song that I'm working on. I want to play to the end of the bridge and then go to the pre-chorus and then stop at the end of the pre-chorus. Let's press escape three times to make sure that nothing is selected. Go to the Ribbon tab, and then go to Styles. You can find your Coda text style in the Common or Tempo section. When your cursor turns blue, click where you would like to add the DS Alfine, and in this case, I'm going to add this at the end of the bridge. When you get the blinking carrot, Right click or control click next to the blinking carrot to bring up the menu. In the menu, choose DS Alfine. When Sibelius hits this text, it will jump back to the signal marking, which we are going to enter in now. Go back to the text ribbon tab, style, and choose your code of text style again. Click in the score where you want this, which is at the beginning of the pre chorus for this example. To finish, Let's add another code of text style and add our fine at the end of the pre chorus, as this is where I want my score to end. To write this correctly, it is common to change the bar line to a double bar line underneath the fine. Go to Notations, and in the Comments section, click on the bar line drop down and choose Double Bar Line. Let's go ahead and play this back and see this in action. Now, to explain DC Alfine, DC Alfine is similar to DS Alfine, but instead of going back to the signal marking, it will go back to the beginning of the score. DC stands for decapo and means from the beginning. Alfine means to the end. So when Sibelius hits the DC Alfine, it will now go back to the beginning of the score and continue to play back until it hits the Alfine. Let's go ahead and delete our signal marking and change our DS Alfine to DC Alfine. Now Sibelius will hit the DC Alfine and play from the beginning of the score and stop when it hits Fine. One last tip for this tutorial, if for any reason that you want the fine to be in the middle of a bar, this is possible and quite easy to do. To do this, we need to use a split bar feature in Sibelius. Let's go ahead and add some notes so it's easier to add the split in the measure. I want the score to stop right in the middle of this bar. Select the note where you want the split to begin, go to the home ribbon, and in the bar section, select split. I want dash bar lines, as it is typical to have a double dash bar line for this technique. Once our split bar is added, we just need to add another dash bar line. Press L to bring up the lines window, scroll down to the lines section, and choose a vertical dash line. Go ahead and add this to your other vertical dash bar line. Looks like one of my measures jumped down to my lower system, so let's go ahead and fix that. Now when Sibelius plays back again after the DC Alfine, it will now stop in the middle of the measure. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. I hope I was able to shine some light when using some of these Sibelius features. 
Make sure to tune in every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern at SibeliusTutorials.com, where I release a tutorial every week for the music notation software Avid Sibelius. We are becoming a grown community, so please make sure to like and subscribe so you can receive updates when new tutorials are released. I'm Josh, and I will see you guys next week.